the Desert Research Institute is part of the Nevada System of Higher Education, and it provides innovation, science, and technology to improve people's lives around the world, now and for the future. As we move forward, what we see for the, the institution is not only basic science, but science that's applied for economic development, science that reaches into new parts of the state plan for the economic development of Nevada. And we're very proud to be part of that. The Center of Excellence, which was created as a 501c6, is an organization that capitalizes on one of our greatest challenges in this state, which is our aridity and challenges in water, but also capitalizes on the unique intellectual capacity we have at the universities and at DRI, our knowledge base in water is unparalleled. You blend that with the knowledge of the Southern Nevada Water Authority and you have something that no other state can compete with. So recognizing that, we've put together a, a group of people to focus on how we can use water management issues, water technology, water policy issues to advance the state, build businesses, attract businesses, and ultimately build a business model with water at the center of this. It's a very exciting step for this state and we're very proud to be part of that. This is Lake Tahoe, world renowned but not as pristine as when Mark Twain visited and described the nearshore as so clear his boat seemed to float on air. We've lost much of that clarity now and the, the lake is threatened by algae and sediment and, and uh, aquatic invasive species but CWES is working with uh, agency partners and with scientific collaborators in both Nevada and California to develop new methods for tracking and mitigating changes in the lake, in its watershed and the airshed. This is our backyard, but it's also our testing ground where we develop the scientific approaches and methods and the information needed to sustain the unique environmental assets of this area and to support viable local communities. Well, as DRI tries to reduce its carbon footprint on this planet Earth and live up to our long-term plan for how we will sustain this campus, we've moved more to reno renewable energy for improving our campus operations. We've had six projects uh, accomplished over the past couple of years that will result in over two megawatts of solar energy to our, our campuses in Las Vegas and Reno, providing up to $350,000 worth of savings when we're completed. One of the other really cool things that we've done at DRI is install a new electrical vehicle charging station on our Las Vegas campus that is available to the public. This station is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and available to anyone on ChargePoint Network. We're very excited about the decision to make the state of Nevada one of the six FAA testing sites for unmanned aerial systems. It is a huge year, not only for DRI, but for the entire state of Nevada. We received an FAA UAS test site award, which means that we're gonna be one of six states authorized by the FAA to perform tests on unmanned aircraft systems to help the FAA develop guidelines, or what I like to call the rules of the road on how to use UAS uh, for, for DRI for our research interests. This is a huge step in that it will bring industry to do testing here, but also provide a focus for higher education to build capacity in research as well as education and workforce development in unmanned aerial systems. I think one of the most important things as we look forward to 2014 is the role that DRI will play in working with the state in economic development. We have a governor and an office of Econo economic development that's reached out to higher education to build an innovation-based economic development model for our state. It's up to us in higher education to fulfill that mission by taking our basic science, turning it into applied science for commercialization, partnerships with industry, and innovating so that we can help not only the citizens here in our state, but also across the nation and around the world for the future.